chapter 4, the temptation of Jesus Christ, uh, which gives us uh, an understanding of what we as Christians uh, will go through. I won't say may go through. Because we need to understand that uh, Jesus came to show us the way. And which means that whatever Jesus has gone through, we may go through it or we will go through it. We will go through temptation. We will go through tri tribulation and distress. Uh, we will and need to go to the cross. We need to die to ourselves as Jesus did. And so Jesus only showed us the way and said, follow me. <laughs> so for those of us Christians out there who feels that you're saved and your life is fine and you don't have to go through temptation, you will have to go through it. And Jesus didn't promise us life um, without trials. What he said that in this world you will have trouble. But take heart, because I have overcome the world. Which means that he's inside of us, and if he has overcome the world, we need a faith of Jesus that he will take us through the journey. So we understand the temptation of Jesus as he was led by the Holy Spirit. Jesus was led by the Holy Spirit to be tempted by the devil which you and I will have to be led by the Spirit of God. And sometimes the Holy Spirit will lead us to be tempted by the devil. Because the Bible said, for we know that uh, tribulation produced patience and patience experience and experience hope. And hope makes not a shame because the love of God is poured out in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Now, we need to go through temptation. And most of the time, it's the Holy Spirit that leads us to be tested. Would you go to the store and buy a chair and not sitting on it? No, you would not do that. You want to test that chair, that that chair is strong enough to keep your weight and that chair worth the price paying for it. And not just the price, but it worth, uh, it is, it, it is, it will do what it uh, says it will do. And so this is what uh, the Holy Spirit is doing with us. The Holy Spirit is uh, taking us into our wilderness situation to, to try us. Are we who we say we are? Because uh, we are making confession that, Lord, I love you, I will serve you, and you will be my God, and all of that. But God will find out if what we said, is if that's true. And how he'll find out is... Uh, through temptation. He will take you through the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. The wilderness is not a very comforting place. It's a place filled with snakes and scorpions. and It's not a place like out of the wilderness. The place is uh, a desert and uh, sand and no water. It seems like no provision. But uh, that's what happened to our souls when we are going in the wilderness. So if you are in the wilderness today, just remember that number one, you are being tested to find out if you are who you say you are. And God, you have to prove to God and to the devil and to the world that you are a Christian and you are a follower of Christ. And, uh, you know, we just have to make sure that we pass the test. So we know that Jesus did pass the test because the devil realized that he was hungry and he was in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights and he did not eat anything. So naturally he would be hungry and the devil used that opportunity to say, oh, if, uh, if you are the son of God, command these stones to uh, be made bread. He knew that Jesus was the son of God. He heard John the Baptist said, behold, the Lamb of God who came to take away the sins of the world after John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ to fulfill all righteousness. And so he knew that Jesus was the Son of God. And Jesus and the devil will devil know that you were saved. But 
you know, he wants to find out, are you really saved with your attitude? Are you saved with the understanding? Are you saved with your behavior? And so we found out that Jesus um, point the devil to the word. And Jesus answered him back and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. So we need not to forget this, that you need to know the word of God. When the devil is tempting you to do wrong things, know what God's word said. The word of God will test you. The devil will tempt you. But you need to know that God's word is true and you need not to follow anybody that tells you otherwise. And um, Jesus, all through the temptation, the devil tempts Christ and Christ only uses a word. And uh, at the end of it, um, you know, he, the Spirit of the Lord came upon him and uh, he, he, he went and ministered. So you see, Jesus didn't go out with power until he actually um, passed through the temptation. So in Luke chapter uh, 4, verse 18, um, um, let's read from verse 4 to 12. Chapter 4, 12 says, And Jesus answered him and said, It has been said, written, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Now when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from him until an opportune time, another opportune time. Then Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee, and news of him went out throughout all the surrounding regions, and he taught in their synagogues, being glorified by all. Isn't that wonderful? After Jesus had, uh, the temptation was finished, then Jesus went back to Nazareth, and um, he went back and um, he, he returned with the power of the Spirit. Do you really want to have the power of the Holy Spirit? Well, endure temptation. Do you really want to have the anointing of God in your life? Well, don't ask God not to uh, put you into temptation. Ask Him to you know, lead you not into temptation, but to deliver you from evil. But if he, if he send you into an area to be tempted, it is because he wants to try you. So we should be happy to go through those times because it is testing you, if you to see what you are made up of. And when you have passed the test, my friends, I tell you that you will go to your regions with the power of the anointing, the power over sin. Do you really want the power over sin? Just endure temptation. Because James said, Blessed is a man that endure temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive a crown of life that the Lord has promised to them that love him. So endure temptation. And it is a gift from God. Go through it. Go through it with patience. Go through it not knowing that God is with you and knowing that God is bringing you through and he's developing something in you. He wants to rejoice over you with singing. And while he's rejoicing, he don't want to be ashamed of you. He wants to know that, yes, my son will go through the temptation and he will pass the test because he loved me with all of his heart, with all of his soul, with all of his strength, and he will not bow. Even when the lion come to tear him apart, he's going to trust me. And this is what God is looking for. God is looking for people like this who would stand up and who would say, I'm going to fear God. Though he slay me, I'm going to trust him. And so go through the temptation and know that Jesus Christ has done it and he will do it through you. May the grace of Jesus Christ be with you.